right here. I try to keep as many things behind me to my target as possible uh, when I'm sniping. So, if I was sitting here and I saw someone out in the field, what I can do is, is what, let's try and figure out where they are. There's some sort of weird object out there. I think it's an animal. It hasn't rendered yet. Or it's a leaf. I think it's a leaf. My gosh. That's yeah, a leaf. Alright, so... What you can do is the further you go back and you can still take the shot, the better chance you're going to have at not giving away your position. Like, we could head all the way back here to this tree line right here. I could sit in this tree line right here and I could take the shot from this tree line. So instead of staying all the way up there at those trees, you could probably see my body if I was behind the tree, because my body's going to be bigger than the tree. Depending on what angle you're looking at it, you could probably see somebody up there against the tree. But from here, I can still see a pretty good section, if not all of it, from down below, for down below in front of me. What it's going to allow me is going to give me extra cover, so if I do need to take a shot, I have a further distance to run away in this tree line if they try to come up here and investigate where it came from. So if they come up here and spend time trying to figure out where the shot came from, I'm probably gone by then. Because then I could, you don't want to stay around too long if you take the shot. Just take the shot and best run if you don't hit them. They also could run. So, so the general idea is, is what I uh, is trying to suggest is picking a spot furthest back in the trees where you can still have a lot of cover but you can still have a good vantage point on what you want to shoot down below. I might not be giving you guys the best information but this is just something that I've I've used before and I like to try and use like right here. And this is this wouldn't be a bad spot either. You're up on the hill you have a lot of cover down by those trees that someone might think that you're coming, you're trying to shoot from. And you have this tree line right here. So if your target was that direction, where I'm pointing my crosshairs at, and you tried shooting them, and you missed, they're not going to know. They, might not, they may think you're a lot closer than that, but on reality, you're further back and then the, the tree line. The further back that you are, that you have a clear shot, can give you the best survivability, I think, in the situation and uh, the chance to get out and survive. Hopefully that helps. If not, um, I'm really out of it, like tired, so my brain isn't 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 going off all cylinders. So if you have any questions, if I may have um, said something uh, or misspoke about something, please let me know and I'll try and to correct that or give you the, the better information in the comments. So feel free to post a comment uh, about that if I left anything out or um, possibly gave the wrong information about about doing something like that. So I'm going to try and find the Northwest Airfield. Again, it's very difficult without a compass. Basically running around blind here. Trying to use the, the area around here to help guide me. I think if I was a little bit more with it, we could have found it by now. I saw it not that long ago. It just seems like I can't get back to it. I'm pretty sure it's this direction. And we're going to be coming up on the south bunker. I think that's Vibor that's over to my east. West, west, sorry. Which south bunker is to the north of Vibor. I'm pretty sure that's Vibor. So there's the town of Vibor right there. And then the northwest airfield is going to be right next to it, the south bunker. So here's Vibor. And this is the northwest bunker that has the best loot in there. So it's pretty much north of... Um, of Vibor. It's across the open area terrain of death that we're gonna probably have to cross through. There's ways to get through that kind of sort of an area 
with minimum uh, exposure. Using a lot of the trees and brush, trying to sneak around through them, instead of taking the direct route of running straight through the field, maybe stop for a moment and think, okay, well, I could run straight through there, but there's a line of trees on my right-hand side that I could use for cover. Now, I could use that, that I'll, it'll take me a little bit off course, but if I run through that, those lines of trees, it'll give me a better, uh, better chance of surviving and making it past that point if there is something dangerous up here. Because you never know, there could be a sniper sitting out there right now with his crosshair pointed on me. I think I actually see something right there looking at me. But the closer you get, the more dangerous this place is going to be. rocks. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way. And sometimes the, the shape of an object will look like a human in the distance. Like for me it will. I don't know. <laughs> I always feel bad when I do that. I like guys that think I'm a total noob. My, new, my name is Noobie Noobster, and we do have a lot of misadventures. Things don't always go as planned. There's a lot of, uh, of uh, mistakes and <laughs> whatnot that we make. Uh, at least that I make when I'm playing this game. So it's not perfect. i just just uh, trying to do it, hopefully. Maybe. Here we go. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this, this is going to take us towards the airfield. Not through some bunch of trees. We're going to get lost again. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get lost again. We're close by. I think we're really close by this time. There's the town. I'm pretty sure it's right here. By the time I get there, it's going to be 10,000 zombies and at least 20 bandits waiting in that general area for someone to come through and just butcher me. But we'll see how it goes. Sun's really bright today. Hey, it's green. All right. So I'm gonna try to take my time. I'm a little bit nervous, so I may need to take my go a little bit quicker than I usually do because I've wasted so much time meandering around here, trying to figure out where I need to go to. I usually have my uh, a compass, and I have. Unfortunately, have not found a compass, so this would have taken a lot, been a lot easier for me to find it with a compass as opposed to trying to find specific landmarks and turning in the general direction of where I think it is and then heading that way. And then if I reach another one, turning and heading that other direction. So I was here, I had it, except I wanted to show you where those helicopters were, and I'm like, well, how could I have gotten lost when I was so close? happens. Alright. Where is this place? There's the road up to it. I'm hoping it's right here. I guess it's gonna be a giant cornfield. This looks like the right place. There's the walls. I think that's... Yeah, this is it. We're on the, the wrong side. This animus it just always makes me nervous. Hi alert! There's a hacker on the server! Speaking of a crashed helicopter with possibly gear on it, here's one right here. 
by the Northwest Airfield. The worst thing about this is, it's right here where I could get killed by anyone. And I think I see another vehicle in front of me in the hangar. What is that? There's something there. Tent? Huh. So there's three places I want to take a look at. Number one, if I can get a clear view on it, which I can't. I'm gonna need to move down further. I want to get a clear view on number one, the barracks over there, because there could be somebody over there. I don't see any zombies offhand, but they could be behind a lot of those trees. Secondly, I want to take a look at the control tower to see if I can spot anyone inside the control tower. I do see a lot of zombies wandering around, so there it does mean someone is here. I just don't know where they're at. And by these gunshots, I'm going to get my position away. So here we go. I'm going to try to attempt to loot this on my own with the fear of people nearby. may turn into a massive firefight here in a couple seconds. Not just for me against the zombies, but whoever's out there hearing the gunshots coming over and killing me. concerned about is that control tower. Well, it's, it's going to be the only place that will have the height advantage to see me crawling in. It's right there. It's got to keep moving. Luckily, the trees will cover me. And by being so close to this wreck, I'm hoping that will help cover me. And I'm pretty sure I just saw M107 right here. Yep. And I think it has magazines where that's the guy's hand. There's one magazine for it. Don't ask me why, but I think I'm going to take this. I have a lot of ammo in my secondary, so... more. It's the bison. What's this? Makes this random ammo. Okay. Let's do this. Hold on. Run around the back. You want to see me? I've never done this before, so I have to give me a minute. Nervous. Someone's seen me do this. Okay. So I have enough room. I just need one more slot for Mr. Can. So I can grab that bison and I can put it in my backpack now. And no one kills me in the process. There it is, okay good. There it is. Magazines, and I hear gunshots. 
It's time to get out of here. Holy cow. Alright. I had a feeling that there was somebody out there watching me. I can make it out of here. So I'm trying to weave my way in and around this. turn and I, I can clearly see my back but once I get up in its tree line this is what I'm gonna do. It's gonna start weaving in and out of these trees. So if they are behind me they're gonna have a lot tougher chance of trying to hit me if I'm using these trees like that. So I think I had a pretty good shot. I did not expect to find a helicopter and the one that I do find ends up being by the most dangerous place in the whole freaking map so I'm pretty excited I've never found an M107 and that gun together so oh man I can't wait to use this in the future wow alright I think I'm gonna take a little break right here